to studio biology. In the previous video, we have discussed the primary functions of leaves and in this video, we are going to discuss the secondary functions of leaves. Now, what are the various secondary functions of leaves? Leaves can perform storage of water, storage of food. Water can be stored in the cells or by forming pitcher-like structures to collect the rainwater. For example, succulent plants like open shear store water in the cells while the plants like decidia store the rain waters in pitchers while the food is stored in the leaf bases of onion next function leaves can be modified to spines for the protection against browsing or grazing. Now these plants include Barberry, Opuntia, Argimon Mexicana. Next function, leaves in some plants are modified to phyllodes and spines. So we have already discussed the phyllodes. But here spines are formed for reducing the transpiration. The examples include Acacia longifolia phyllodes are formed in this plant. Then leaves may help in climbing by modifying into various structures like tendrils, hooks and spines. Tendrils can be observed in various plants that we have discussed in the previous lectures on modifications of 
leaves in which tendrils can be modified from whole leaf or petiole or petiole tip etc hooks can be observed in dolichandra unguis cati in which three clawed hooks are formed while spines can be observed in asparagus which help in climbing next function is in some plants leaves are modified to store air either in the lamina or petiole for gaseous exchange and floating as in aquatic plants like nilambo trapa and ecornia now the next function in plants like salvinia one leaf at each node is changed or modified into roots to act as balancers for floating next leaf and its parts leaf or its parts can be modified into a trap like structure to catch the small animals like insects now these structures may be some bladders or pitchers as found in insectivorous plants like utricularia which is also known as bladder wort or pitchers in nepenthes and saracenia next function leaves are modified to floral parts we have already discussed that the floral parts are basically the modification of leaves next in plants like poinsettia young leaves are bright colored to attract the insects for pollination
next leaves of bryophyllum and begonia it's important that in bryophyllum adventitious buds develop on intact leaf while in begonia adventitious buds develop on injured leaf so leaves of such plants participate in vegetative reproduction next bud scales provide protection to buds it is seen in ficus in some plants the stipules are foliaceous as in lathyrus afaca the purpose is behind this is to perform photosynthesis so these are the various secondary functions of leaves thanks for watching this video